hello and welcome intellects uh, as a student researcher or teacher you know how important it is to give credit where it's due but let's be honest creating a bibliography and citations can be a real headache and it's a very tedious job you have to spend hours searching for the right format double checking the punctuation and making sure everything is in the correct order well what if i told you that there's an easier way this is Muhammad Awais introducing to you mybib.com which is the free bibliography and citation generator that will save you time and stress. In this video, we will take a closer look at how mybib works and why it's quickly becoming the go-to tool for students and academics alike. So sit back, relax and get ready to simplify your research process with mybib. Before starting discussing it, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go and subscribe to get the daily dose of our videos. Open mybib.com in any web browser. You can start creating citations without having an account here, but it is better to create an account so you could track and reproduce the references that you are going to create here. To create an account, hit on this icon at top left and click on create a free account write your email here and password here you are a student or teacher or having some other role you can directly sign in by your gmail account by clicking here after created an account you will be redirected here again click on start new project and give a name to your project by the way, you can import the references that you have created outside my people like in any software and note for example. So you can import the references file from those softwares as well by clicking here at import. You can import RSI file or bib text file. For now, I am not going to touch any of them. Also, I want to tell you that there are different reference styles available. You can go to this drop down box and select the appropriate reference style. There are hundreds of reference styles available ranging from AMA, APA, Chicago, Harvard. If you go down, you will see uh, MLA, Vancouver and many others. I'm going to select APA 7th because it is the most used reference style in my discipline, communication studies. And hit save. Now if you want to take a fresh start, hit add, add citation now you will see there are different reference types available ranging from website book journal video and if you go to more you will see different reference types available here conference paper for example ebook map news article review regulation report speech tv radio broadcast video etc etc and song as well by the way so choose the appropriate reference type that you want to create. Let's talk about a few of them. Let's take the example of website. I'm going to open a website. I have opened a website in another tab. That is an article in fact. And that was written by this author and it was published on this date. The title of this article is if it's football it's not cricket. So I just need to copy this URL and paste it here and hit at search. It will automatically fetch all the details. So you see the title is captured. He is the author. The year of publication is here. By the way, you can enter the details manually as well by hitting here. Anyways, if you click at this link, you can add any missing details or you can add additional details that you want to include in your citation. Author, title of the page, date published, URL, date accessed viewed, website name, publishing name if there is any. I am going to go with the auto generated details and hit on save. So the citation has been created. So this was a website reference, right? Now I want to add some another reference type. I will go to add citation. Let's take a book into consideration. And I'm going to Google Books. Randomly going to write something. Going to select the first one. 
and copy this link and paste it here search it will automatically fetch the details from that link by the way you can write isbn number as well i'm going to hit it here some details have been fetched automatically I'm going to hit at save let's try with isbn number as well add citation book copying isbn number going to paste here and hit search this is the book going to select it and some additional details is also available now like isbn number etc going to save it so this was a book that was fetched from isbn number and this was the book that was fetched from url now next citation journal we can give the url or dui number digital object identifier both ways we can do that google scholar going to copy the dui number going back and pasting it here hit search it will automatically fetch the details going to select it the volume number is missing if there is any volume number available to this article you can manually add it or you can simply hit no by the way you can add those details manually here as well going to hit save going to hit add, add citation again now if i hit at more you will see film movie dvd as well which means that if you have watched anything on your DVD player, you can cite that as well. If you hit at film movie DVD, you need to give details manually because there is no entity available online, right? Let's take the example of personal communication as well. If you hit at personal communication, now this is something that happened between you and some other person, right? So give the details of the speaker name. Let's say someone talked to me. And the recipient was Prahat Ali. You can add as many speakers or recipients as you want. Give the title of the communication. Let's say we talked about political polarization in the country. And it was happened in 2023 in May 1st. What was the medium? Let's say it was a face to face conversation. You can add annotations as well. Anyways, I'm going to hit save. So this citation has also been saved. You can give other reference types a try at your own. These references has been added. This is personal communication. This is a book with ISBN number. This is a book with the URL. This is a newspaper article. This is a journal article, right? these were the references that you want to cite in your writing by the way if you want these references to change into any other reference style you don't need to add them again just change the reference style let's say i'm going to select harvard hit save they will be automatically changed to harvard style i'm changing it back to apa now let's say you have created all the references with the same procedure you can download these references by simply hitting over here in word file google drive email etc etc but if you want to go with one by one simply right click here and click on copy bibliography entry or copy in text citation if you want to cite this in between your text let's copy bibliography entry first and now I'm going to a word file. Now you just need to right click here and select the first option of paste. Keep source formatting. So you see the full reference of personal communication that happened between a VAS and Fra has been added to your references. Let's go back to my bib. Copy bibliography entry. Going back to word, right click, first option. This has also been cited. Going back, 
newspaper article right click copy bibliography entry right click in word paste it general article right click copy bibliography entry and paste it and if you want to give in-text citations right click on any reference copy in-text citation and paste it wherever it is suitable in your text giving taking another example copy in-text citation we are going to paste it so this is how you can create references manually in mybib and then copy and paste it into your word file and there are a number of types available and there are a number of reference styles available so this is a very useful website that you can use to create references so you see how convenient it has become to cite others work with mybib so why waste our time and energy on manually formatting our citations when we can do it effortlessly with this tool sign up for a free account today and take advantage of all the amazing features this website has for you that's it from this video go and subscribe before this video ends